Hola, good morning, buenos dias, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for a plan with me. So excited that you can make it. As always, it's your girl Daniela, aka Miss Four Lizard, aka the Planning Diva. And in this video, I'm gonna be scrapbooking um, for this past week where I went on a backpacking trip to the Eastern Sierras and I got a bunch of scrapbooking material. I printed out a bunch of photos, I got stickers, I got scrapbooking paper, I got a bunch of cute um, camping and hiking stickers from Joann's and i just have a lot here a lot to work with i'm really really excited to get into this because i've been wanting to do like a camping hiking spread for a while now and i just really haven't had like um, i haven't gone backpacking in over a year i think at this point and i finally went backpacking this summer I just went for three days to the Eastern Sierras and in Inyo National Forest in California. I had a great time. I went with my boyfriend and his uh, childhood friend's dad. Um, it was a great time and I'm excited to just uh, to uh, capture those memories in my happy planner. So we're going to get into it. So I'm going to be doing all of this in my mega happy planner, of course. This is Miss Cassiopeia. She is my fun mega happy planner in that, you know, I don't really use her as a planner too much. I use her more as like a scrapbook and a workbook. And these are all like my fun hobbies that I have. So she is just a lot of fun. So we're going to go into my memories section here, pull out my bookmark and ooh, Bugsy, Bugsy my pug has just joined us and I'm gonna be decorating this week's this week here and I actually am probably going to add in um, some extra pages in here uh, using filler paper. Oh, Bugs, hi baby, hi. Oh, okay, Bugs has finally left us. But I'm actually going to be using some extra pages in here because I just have so many pictures. They're not going to fit on this spread at all. And so um, I think I'm going to pull for some extra filler paper to uh, just add in and give me some extra space to play around with. So let's see. I have... Yeah, I might pull for... Um, I might pull for maybe two sheets. I'm not sure if I'll use both of these sheets, but I'll just grab them. Let's get back to the week that I am on. So here we go. And um, I have these two extra sheets here in case I need them. So I had a couple of things going on earlier in the week as well, which I want to make a note of. So I had a family dinner on Monday, and then I got to catch up with two of my best friends on Tuesday, Gracia in the morning and Armand in the evening. And then Tuesday evening, I headed out with my boyfriend to uh, for the backpacking trip. Went up to LA, uh, saw my boyfriend's dad, and then Wednesday we headed out to um, Inyo National Forest and we backpacked. That was our first night camping. Then we um, did a second day and camped Thursday. And then Friday we headed out, so we woke up in the middle of the mountains and then we hiked all the way back to where we started and then drove off the mountain. And then we headed back to Los Angeles to spend the night at my boyfriend's dad's house. And then Saturday, we woke up, had breakfast with his dad at a sports bar, which had great food. We drove back all the way to San Diego. And then I had a little art night, catch up night with my best friend, Jess. And Sunday, I actually worked because I took a couple of days off during the week for the backpacking trip. And so I just needed to get back to work and do some stuff. So Sunday, I just was working. So that was the overview of this week here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off these sticky notes I'm just going to leave them kind of here at the bottom so that I remember <laughs> what happened. So I'm going to start off with putting down three boxes down here for my family dinner and my chats with my best friends. So let's look for some boxes. Okay, I think I'll use these three like blue-green boxes from the colorful boxes, sticker book, um, and by the way, this pack of stickers that I have here. I just have like 
five different sticker books um, combined into this mega sticker pack. Um, these are all just like sticker books that I was like halfway done with and I couldn't really use them like as standalones and so I just combined combined a bunch of like half an inch sticker books into this one mega pack with a binder ring and I covered the, the like the top of the sticker book and the bottom with some scrapbooking paper so it's just like a medley of random stickers um, so yes let's see I'm gonna I'm gonna put these boxes here and then a bigger box over here for my family dinner I also have a bunch of photos here that I want to include awesome stickers that I got at Joann's. Um, these are like great outdoors and nature stickers. So I think I'm gonna pull for like um, this tree and this backpack and the squirrel and maybe some of these more quote-like stickers. These are so cute. grab some more boxes to mark down um, the breakfast and my art night with Jess so let's see I think that's what I'm gonna go with for photos because I do want to leave myself room to write. I have a bunch of more photos but that's why I have these extra pieces of filler paper so I can um, spill over onto that. So we're gonna go ahead and tape these down. Smokey the Bear sticker at one of the visitor centers at Inyo National Forest. I think it's so, so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this guy maybe up here. And Bugs has joined us once again. He just wants to be the center of attention. Bugs, come on. Man. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab some of these camping stickers and uh, play around with these. So I have the Welcome to the Great Outdoors and this um, Back to Nature cardstock stickers. So I think I'm gonna go for this camp, I mean this tent sticker here. So maybe I should put this, I think I'm gonna put this here. And then I'm gonna grab this sticker. Very, very cute. It says trail and picnic. So maybe I'll put this. I think I'm gonna grab this tree first and then I might put it. Okay, I'm gonna put the tree down here and then I'm gonna put this little trail marker yeah, I'm gonna put it down here in this corner. And then I'm gonna grab this backpacking sticker and pop it over here. Actually, the backpacking sticker I might put on the calendar page. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. 
let's see what else do I want to put here the sleeping pad sticker maybe I'll put the sleeping pad sticker here next to the tent so funny <laughs> and then maybe this squirrel sticker we did see a good number of squirrels so maybe I'll put the squirrel sticker maybe I'll put it next to the sleeping bag sticker Or right here. Yeah, I'll put it right there. <laughs> and let's see, what else do I want to put down? I think maybe this back to nature log. Maybe I'll put it here right on top of our photo. I like that. And then the camping out sticker, I'll also put maybe underneath my photo here there we go the pine cone sticker i'll put next to the tree here actually i don't really like this sleeping pad sticker here so i'm gonna move it again to the calendar page i think that's it i'm gonna grab from the sticker sheet Let's see, is there anything else that I want to uh, add from this? Maybe this sticker that says the great outdoors. I'm gonna pop it up here. I also have some of these stickers from Jolie's Boutique. These are a bit thick. They're a bit intense, um, but they're really, really cute. Let's see. These are adorable. I think I'm gonna play around with some of these. Let's go. I'm gonna grab these little trees. And let's see, the compass, I like the compass. The little acorn, we can play around with that one. And maybe I could, I'll move this pine cone and um, I'll pop down this little RV camping trailer. Although we did not camp in an RV, um, I still think this could look really cute here. It's gonna cover the tent a little bit though. I wonder if I can move the tent a little bit. These stickers come up really, come up really nicely. So maybe I'll pop that there. And then the tent can go like up here or right there. You know, I have to move the pine cone again. And I'll put the tent down here. And then the little pine cone can go here. Let's see. I'll take the binoculars. Oops. And then lastly, this little fire with the s'mores and the hot dog. Although we did not make a fire because we were really high up in elevation. We were about 10,000 feet um, in elevation and you're not allowed to have fires that high. So we did not have a fire, but, um, but that's okay. Uh, it still is the vibe. Very, very cute. I love how it's turning out here. 
And then I also have these lake stickers, which we were uh, camping at lakes, and so that's why I got these. But I don't know if I want to um, use all of them. I might just use this one that says it's lake time. And then I can save these lake stickers for the next time I'm camping at a lake. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in the little boxes with the events that happened. And I'm also gonna white out these lines here. That's something I've been enjoying doing in my scrapbooking spreads is just whiting out the, the lines that make up the vertical format because it's easier to write on them and it helps me, um, it just helps me to write. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna grab four a Mickey Mouse sticker here from my new Mickey Mouse Oasis sticker book. There's these really cute um, like family, family stickers, family time stickers. Here we go, family time. So I'm gonna grab one of these family time stickers and pop it down here um, next to my family dinner. Okay, so I put down the first layer of white over the lines and I think it looks great. Um, you can kind of see it and it looks a little bit strange, but once you write over it, you really can't see it that much. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this spread out at some point and I'll probably write on this side, like through here, maybe a little here, and then definitely on this side and over here, and just fill in those empty spaces with um, my adventures and what happened and all that we did on our trip. So we're gonna leave this spread like that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the re these two pages with the remaining um, photos and postcards and scrapbook paper and stickers that I have left over. So let's get into that. So I think this is what I'm gonna go with. It's kind of a gallery type of spread and I guess I could incorporate more stickers and be a little bit more creative with it, but I kind of just want to make it a little gallery. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape this down. So now these are all taped down and I can now decorate the back. So I have another postcard here. Um, let's see, what else do I have? I have more scrapbook paper. I kind of like the let's get lost. I also have this Texas smoke, Texas style barbecue um, sticker. <laughs> I don't know if I want to put it on these pages though. I have the Eastern Sierras sticker. I think I might cut this sticker down a bit so that I can fit on the page without running into the postcard. I'll just cut off the Bishop California part because I already have the postcard there. So I don't need that.
this is what I'm gonna go with for the back pages. Just my Bishop California postcard, Texas style barbecue, which we stopped by for lunch when we were there. This cute scrapbook paper that says, let's get lost. I'm gonna put some camping stickers here at the bottom and then the Eastern Sierra California sticker up there. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and I think I'm done here. Um, I think it's a little bit random. I think uh, I'm gonna call it good for now. I think I might add more stuff here, like on in the empty spaces, just to kind of fill it out. Not sure with what exactly. It'll probably be one of those spreads where I just kind of work on it and continue to build on it and add on it as the days go by. I feel like there's empty space here in these sections. I might journal in it. I might just add more stickers. I might even just like uh, watercolor the background so it's not just this plain white. Uh, might like add a wash of color in the back there, maybe some stars, some doodles. We'll see how it goes, but um, I'm happy with these pages. They are just so, so cute. So what I probably will do is I might add these pages in the middle of this, the middle of the spread or I might add them before. You know what, I think I might, yeah, I'll probably just add them in the middle of the spread like this, um, so that way they're not in the way of any other spreads. So I'm really liking how it's turning out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and journal, write down, you know, my adventures, and then, um, and then we'll call it good. and that is it everyone so that is what the completed spread looks like i love how it turned out i also have these extra pages of photos stickers and scrapbooking paper um, and i'm really happy with it so um, that was super long <laughs> let's see if i can edit it down a little bit more you know what i'm gonna add another mickey mouse sticker here um, I'm gonna add another family day sticker. Family time over here. There we go. I kind of want to add something there. Ooh, this one's perfect. This sticker that says happy camper. Yes, I might put this here. Let's see if I can move this tent sticker a little bit more. Ooh, barely. Now we're done. Oh my god, do you see Bugs' paws here? <laughs> he is such an encimoso. Oh my goodness. All right, everyone. I had so much fun putting this spread together. I hope you enjoyed checking this out. Let me know if you're a backpacker, if you're a hiker, and if so, what do you like um, hiking? Um, what are your hiking and backpacking must-haves and um, go-tos? Let your girl know, and um, I will catch you in my next video. Bye!